Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can create a tab view control in Xcode 11 beta 5. Some of the th things have changed since I previously created the tab view control. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this text label and replace it with a tab view. Now a tab view can contain many other different kind of controls. So I'm just going to add a text control over here and I will call it the item one. Now this is basically the view that you're going to see on the first tab or the first tab item. Now the tab item associated with that particular view, I can simply go ahead and call it tab item and pass in the closure. And we can actually add some sort of an item over here, which in this case, I can just add home. Now if you see over here at the bottom, you can see the home is being appearing in my application or Xcode preview on the right hand side. Currently, we're also using the text view as our output or as our view, which you can see over here. We can replace all of this with a completely different view, like your home view, dashboard view, graph view, cart view, products view, login view, registration view, and so on. Let's go ahead and add one more item, and we will also get this as a text item or a text view. We will call it item number two. This will have a tab item also, and which will be only text also, and we can call it some sort of a broadcast. Great. Now each of these tab items should also have the tags associated with them so that we can uniquely identify them. So let's go ahead and pass in the tag of one to the item number one and tag of two to the item number two. But if you have been doing iOS development, you know that the tab bar items doesn't really appear kind of like that, only text. We should also add some sort of an image to it. Now the best way to add an image is to simply add the tab item inside a vertical stack. So let's go ahead and add a V stack or a vertical stack and we're going to wrap around our text in there. Next, we're going to go ahead and use one of the images that I have already added. So let's go to the assets and you can see I have a couple of images. I'm just going to use the globe image. So let's call it globe. Great. And let's go ahead and resume and see what that image actually looks like. And there we go. You can actually see the globe image. Great. We can do the same exact thing for our item number two. For this, I'm going to press command click and I'm going to say over here embed in a vertical stack and then I can go ahead and add an image. So image, in this case I'm just going to add an image called broadcast because I have an image associated with that. And now you can see that the broadcast image is also added. This is great and we have created two tab items which goes to two different views. Let's see how it actually works. So if I press the play button over here and now my view is actually in a live view and you can see I can actually move through different items. Pay close attention to the label in the middle of the screen which is item 2 and now it's actually item 1 and so on. So this means that you can go through different views by using the tab items or the tab view. Obviously, you're not really going to use a text over here as your main view. You will going to use your own custom views. So let's go ahead and create a custom view and see that how that works. I'm going to go ahead and add a Swift UI view. And you can call your view anything you want. We are simply going to call it maybe home view. Let's go ahead and create that. And in the home view, I'm not going to type much code over here, which means that simply going to add home view over here, home view. And making sure that this is font which contains large title. Let's go ahead and see how the home view actually looks like. And you'll see there's a simple view which simply says home view. 
So how can we use this home view in our content view so that one of the tabs will actually lead us to that home view? It's actually pretty simple. Let's go ahead and remove this particular view and replace it with the home view. So home view dot tab item and now you have fixed it and you are now using the home view as your first tab item. If I go ahead and run this application, you can see I can move from one view to the other. It highlights obviously the tab bar selected item and it shows me the home view or whichever view that I'm on. So you can see that how easy it is to use a tab view and to build a tab view in Surf UI. If you want to learn more about how you can build amazing Surf UI applications, then check out my Udemy course, Surf UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device. This is the highest rated course on Udemy, and you can see I have more than 600 students enrolled. The course is around eight and plus hours of amazing content. You can see that it starts with building lists and navigation and dives into even MVVM design pattern and even creating the whole complete app using MVVM design pattern. If you go and look at the end, I also added a section for integration with the core data and Surf UI. And by the time you see this video, there will be a new section for the core ML integration, which is a machine learning integration with Surf UI. I do plan to update this course a lot more and your feedback is obviously very, very important. So go ahead and enroll in this course, enjoy this course, but hey, hold on a second. If you want to get the best deal, check out the YouTube description. There's already a link to this course and all of my other courses or most of my other courses. Click on the link and you will get the best discount. And to be really honest, if you use the link that I've provided, I get to keep the 90% of the revenue. So if you want to support me, this will be the best way. And this is also great for you because you're going to get the best deal. Simply check out the description and find out the link for this particular course, which is the first link. Click on it and get enrolled. Also at the end of the YouTube description, there is a link for the weekly uh, subscription letter. So make sure you enroll in that so, and so that you can get other discounts and other content. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know.